Hi again, everyone. <clears throat> so, uh, welcome back. So, here we go. We're going to be creating the side view of the head. Now, hopefully, you've been practicing... Uh, hopefully, you've been practicing the front view. So, you've got that down pat. So, what we're going to be doing now is kind of similar to um, drawing the drawing the front view, but it'll be from the side. And there's just a few extra things that we're going to add to what we learned um, um, in drawing the front view. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is we want to draw a um, we want to draw an oval and not a circle. Okay, so this is a circle right there. Okay, so that's a perfect circle, but that's not what we want because looking from the side view, the head, the skull is actually oval shaped. Now, it, this is an exaggeration right there, but it's not that oval it's just slightly oval okay so there we go so that should be oval enough so what we're going to do is there we go so here we go so that's that's what it looks like and what we want to go ahead and do is um <clears throat> we're going to draw a, a line down the front okay okay draw a straight line right there and we'll extend it because um, we're going to be, uh, we don't know where the chin is going to be at the moment. So what we're going to do, the same thing as we did before, is find the center of the circle, right? Right there. And then we'll take this measurement from the center of the circle to the bottom of the circle and translate that measurement down. Okay, so if we change the color here and did that. So... So we're going to do there. Okay, so, and then we move that line down and we're going to find the bottom of the chin. Okay, so there we go. Bottom of the chin is right there. Sorry. <clears throat> bottom of the chin is right there. So there we go. So we've got that, uh, that measurement now, so we get rid of that. <clears throat> and remember when we divided this into eight parts, we have that's into quarters and then into eights just so we can find where the where the widow's pick is so the widow's pick is right there we'll continue to divide this into eights so widow's pick is right there so this line here is the one that we're going to be uh, dividing pick another color there so this line right there to the bottom of the chin right there from here to the top of the head, uh, sorry, to the widow's pick right there is what we're going to be dividing into three. Okay, so we'll go ahead. So I'll just do that, uh, I'll just eye it, okay? What what happens is it just comes just a little bit below the center line there and just a little bit below the circle there, and that's almost exactly third. Now I've done it so many times that for me it's easy. I can just eyeball it, but uh, it's good good practice for you too. If you want to go ahead and try that, okay. <clears throat> I'll just get rid of this swiveling thing in the corner here, just quickly, so that um, there we go, you can see things better. Okay, so that's the third there. So that's the eyebrow line. That's the top of the eyebrow where it sits. That's the bottom of the nose. So we go ahead and divide this one into three, okay. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it, but you can go ahead and uh, try and get it exact if you want. But as I said, good, it's good to practice trying eyeballing things and just measure it. Okay, so that's the part in the lips. <clears throat> that's the bottom of the nose right there, top of the eyebrows, bottom of the chin. This is where the shadow is. Now, we'll, I'll show you what this is all about, the thing that I'm talking about, the shadow under the lips. When we draw it, then you'll find out. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to translate this line across, okay? <clears throat> so we're going to translate that line across so we can find where the jaw begins to turn. Okay. So the jaw is going to turn somewhere there. So we'll get this done. So. We want to take this line from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin and divide it exactly in half. So that way we'll know exactly where the, where the 
the eye is okay now I, I I did a shortcut there what I did was I just um, because this is divided into three parts if I just half this third right there then I get the eye line okay so that's a that's a, a one way of uh, just doing a quick cheat so that's what I did okay so that's where the eye line is so that's where that sits okay so we finished almost everything now one thing that we are going to do is uh, we're going to find out where the ear lies because it doesn't exactly lie right in the middle there it actually what we do is that horizontal line that comes across right there what we want to do is we want to divide that so we'll divide it into halves and then divide it again into halves so round about there at an angle okay a slight angle is how how this thing comes down okay just like that so if we brought that all the way down to where the to where it turns so this way it begins to turn so it'll actually come come here a bit come in at another angle just a bit there and then it'll go to close to where the bottom of the chin is there okay so that's where it'll go that's how you find the shape of the jawline okay and again you know uh, just to say this is just the general general way of looking at it okay so here we go we'll, um, we'll just mark that jawline in uh, with a darker color okay there we go comes up to where the ear is now remember we where the ear is supposed to sit so it starts where the eye line is comes up close to where the eyebrows top of the eyebrows there doesn't have to go all the way there and then finishes where the nose line is right there okay so that's the ear right there it's the back of the head <coughs> okay so we're going to be placing in placing in the nose now if you take um, if you actually take um, that eye line right there now this is just to add on from what we were learning before there and you divide it into half right there this is basically where that uh, turn is that you normally find in um, for the bridge of your nose so that's where it'll turn so if you wanted to just remember that okay that way you can use this even in on the front from looking from the front but it's more important when you're looking from the side just to keep that in mind now as I said uh, you know it's not always exact we'll actually put that in right there okay so your eyebrows will start start just above that uh, halfway line come out towards the center and then come down probably you know towards the the bottom of that circle there okay so there we go so what, what, what we're gonna do is we'll take this line that goes from the top of the head draw it straight through and come out this way okay straight through top of the head come straight through that center come out and that way we'll get the angle for the nose okay so it's not always exact but just a generalization and then from here now for this line you can pick any angle you want because normally people's noses aren't exactly the same and there really isn't much of a general method for that so we'll just say we'll, we'll just bring it out close to straight okay a triangle there and then we'll just chop off the edge right there okay just to get that general uh, measurement now what you want to do is take that top of the head there straight through the tip of the nose okay and draw a line straight through from there come straight through to there then when it meets there bring it down towards the bottom of the chin And then take this to the middle there we'll just put a smoke curve there 
bring this out draw a line from the top of the lip there to the bottom of the chin that's where it stops comes in okay and then out again so there we go and we'll give this guy a little bit of a smile so we're doing pretty good at the moment so we've got uh, the basic outline of uh, the shape of the head okay now we're gonna place we're gonna take this half it again and if we take a straight line down sorry take this line half it and half it again and bring that line down so that'll be generally where the the eye is going to sit so you take that that middle where it curves there bring it across and curve it down almost similar to the curve of the eyebrow there okay and then the top measurement here of the top of the eye should be bigger than the bottom just like that and then you can add the eyelashes coming in like that that's the bottom of the eye right there okay so we've got that and all we want to do now is just draw the nostril and uh, the wings of the nose right there so we're getting uh, pretty close to finishing off the side view of the head okay just shade that in just a bit so there we go getting good looking better okay now with the drawing the ears just a quick uh, note now it's um i'm showing you from the side just so it's quick for you to um to be able to pick it up pretty quickly but uh, we'll go into detail about it um, after i'll show you how to draw the eyes how to draw the nose the mouth and the ears and then we'll put it all together in a caricature okay so here we go okay so i'll just draw it quickly for now but i'll show you the details later so the widow's pick there is where we said the the hairline comes okay so there we go the hair now the neck if you if you were to divide take this line and divide it again in half right about there it begins to turn there comes out that way so that's where the top of the neck attaches Sorry, let me just line this up again. Okay, so this is that fat, you know, that's normally underneath the chin there. So that sits right there, comes there. Okay, so this one will come in, start curving back. So we can actually shade this a bit, shade this quickly. some sideburns there right there okay so there we go so that's the side view of the head and that's the general way of uh, drawing it so next we'll look at drawing the features and um, yeah we'll look at the specifics of how to draw the features and uh, yeah and how to create that likeness in right in the end okay so this is this these tutorials are all the going to be just about uh, how to draw the head the caricatured head and uh, I'll have a, an application coming out and in that it'll have everything it'll be the head um, you know the whole body um, how to do um, editorial illustrations and so forth so that that one will be really detailed okay but for this one it's just going to be looking at doing the head so in here I'll show you how to do those um, do the characters of the head so hopefully you've been enjoying these so keep on practicing okay and keep these uh, measurements uh, in mind and uh, I'll see you in the next one okay thanks <laughs>